Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Military TV. In today's session, we will take a look at the 7 best transport planes in the US military history. If you are curious on what they are, stay tuned and don't go anywhere. The following is the list of the top 7 transport planes that have served the US Air Force over the years. Number 1. C-47 Skytrain the Douglas C-47 Skytrain, or Dakota, is a military transport aircraft developed from the civilian Douglas DC-3 airliner. This aircraft was used extensively by the Allies during World War II and remained in frontline service with various military operators for many years. It served in all theaters during World War II and continued in service long afterward. Moreover, this aircraft was used to haul cargo, transport troops, drop paratroops, tow gliders, and as a flying ambulance. Additionally, the C-47 was a pillar of U.S. military airlift during the early stages of the Cold War, figuring large in the 1948 Berlin Airlift and in the Korean War from 1950 to 1953. Lastly, the C-47s were used in the Vietnam War as electronic warfare collection aircraft and as AC-47 gunships. Many hundreds remain in civil service today. Number 2. C-119 Flying Boxcar The Fairchild C-119 Flying Boxcar was an American military transport aircraft developed from the World War II-era Fairchild C-82 packet. This aircraft was designed to carry cargo, personnel, litter patients, and mechanized equipment, and to drop cargo and troops by parachute. The first C-119 made its initial flight in November 1947, and by the time production ceased in 1955, more than 1,100 C-119s had been built. Interestingly, its cargo hauling ability and unusual appearance earned it the nickname Flying Boxcar. Additionally, the AC-119G Shadow Gunship variant was fitted with four six-barrel 7.62mm miniguns, armor plating, flare launchers, and night-capable infrared equipment. Like the AC-130 that would succeed it, the AC-119 would prove to be a potent weapon. The AC-119 was made more deadly by the introduction of the AC-119K Stinger version, which featured the addition of two General Electric M61 Vulcan 20mm cannons, improved avionics, and two underwing-mounted General Electric J85 GE-17 turbojet engines, adding nearly 6,000 pound force of thrust. Number 3. C-124 Globemaster II the Douglas C-124 Globemaster II, which has the nickname Old Shaky, is an American heavy-lift cargo aircraft built by the Douglas Aircraft Company in Long Beach, California. The C-124 was the primary heavy-lift transport for United States Air Force USAF and Military Air Transport Service MATS, during the 1950s and early 1960s until the Lockheed C-141 Starlifter entered service. It served in MATS, later Military Airlift Command, MAC units of the Air Force Reserve and Air National Guard until it retired in 1974. Additionally, the Douglas C-124 could carry more than 200 troops. It also could load tanks, field guns, bulldozers, and trucks. It had clamshell-type loading doors, built-in double hydraulic ramps, and an elevator under the aft fuselage. Number 4. C-130 Hercules The Lockheed C-130 Hercules is an American-built four-engine turboprop military transport aircraft designed and built originally by Lockheed Martin. Capable of using unprepared runways for takeoffs and landings, the C-130 was originally designed as a troop, medevac, and cargo transport aircraft. This versatile airframe has found uses in a variety of other roles, including as a gunship, AC-130, airborne assault, search and rescue, scientific research support, weather reconnaissance, aerial refueling, maritime patrol, and aerial firefighting. It is now the main tactical airlifter for many military forces worldwide. More than 40 variants of the Hercules, including civilian versions marketed as the Lockheed L-100, operate in more than 60 nations. Furthermore, the C-130 entered service with the U.S. in 1956, followed by Australia and many other nations. During its years of service, the Hercules family has participated in numerous military, civilian, and humanitarian aid operations. 
In 2007, the C-130 became the fifth aircraft to mark 50 years of continuous service with its original primary customer, which for the C-130 is the United States Air Force. The C-130 Hercules is the longest continually produced military aircraft at over 60 years, with the updated Lockheed Martin C-130J Super Hercules currently being produced. Number 5. C-141 Starlifter The Lockheed C-141 Starlifter is a retired military strategic airlifter that served with the Military Air Transport Service, its successor organization the Military Airlift Command, and finally the Air Mobility Command of the United States Air Force. The aircraft also served with airlift and air mobility wings of the U.S. Air Reserve, the Air National Guard, and later, one air mobility wing of the Air Education and Training Command dedicated to C-141, C-5, C-17, and KC-135 training. Moreover, the C-141 Starlifter was the U.S. Air Force's first major jet aircraft designed to meet military standards as a troop and cargo carrier. C-141s performed numerous airlift missions for the USAF. With its great range and high speed, the Starlifter projected American military power and humanitarian efforts rapidly across the globe. Number 6. C-5 Galaxy the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy is a large military transport aircraft designed and built by Lockheed and now maintained and upgraded by its successor, Lockheed Martin. It provides the United States Air Force with a heavy intercontinental range strategic airlift capability, one that can carry outsized and oversized loads, including all air certifiable cargo. The Galaxy has many similarities to the smaller Lockheed C-141 Starlifter and the later Boeing C-17 Globemaster III. The C-5 is among the largest military aircraft in the world. In addition, the C-5 Galaxy's development was complicated, including significant cost overruns, and Lockheed suffered significant financial difficulties. Shortly after entering service, cracks in the wings of many aircraft were discovered, and the C-5 fleet was restricted in capability until corrective work was completed. The C-5M Super Galaxy is an upgraded version with new engines and modernized avionics designed to extend its service life beyond 2040. Number 7. C-17 Globemaster III The McDonnell Douglas Boeing C-17 Globemaster III is a large military transport aircraft that was developed for the United States Air Force USAF from the 1980s to the early 1990s by McDonnell Douglas. The C-17 Globemaster serves as the U.S. Air Force's primary strategic lift aircraft for global transport of troops and equipment. This aircraft is also capable of rapid strategic delivery of troops and all types of cargo to main operating bases or directly to forward bases in the deployment area. The aircraft can perform tactical airlift and airdrop missions and can transport litters of ambulatory patients during aeromedical evacuations when required. The inherent flexibility and performance of the C-17 force improved the ability of the total airlift system to fulfill the worldwide air mobility requirements of the United States. Additionally, the Globemaster III was designed to be able to land on runways as short as 3,500 feet and as narrow as 90 feet. With engine thrust reversers, the C-17 can back up and turn around on very small runways in forward operating bases. If you find this video interesting, do not forget to like, share, comment, and the most important one is to click the subscribe button for more updates on awesome videos. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.